Welcome! In front of me I have MS32 GTS 2E and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on the watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the ZEP application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the ZEP application on the phone that is paired with our watch. Once you open the application, you should see the home page. Now tap on the profile icon to open the profile page. And on this page, find the uh, list of my devices and find the Amazfit GTS 2E on this list and tap on it to enter the device page. On this page, find the notifications and reminders option and tap on it. And here you should see different types of notifications and reminders. First, let's tap on incoming call. And basically here you can enable the notifications for incoming calls on your watch, or rather on your phone. So if somebody calls you on your phone, your watch will notify you that you're being called. And if you want to enable the uh, notifications for incoming calls, tap on the switch next to incoming call alerts to flick it on, tap on got it, tap on OK. And as you can see now they are enabled, but they won't work before you deal with this message right here. Basically, it tells you that you need to allow some permissions for the notifications to work. So tap on this message, it will pop out the permission, basically, or ask you to allow the permission, tap on allow, and keep doing it until you won't see this message anymore. This one requires you to tap to tap on the go to settings button, then scroll through the list of apps, find the ZEP application, tap on it, tap on the switch next to allow do not disturb, tap on allow, and then you can go back to the ZEP app. And once you don't have the warning message anymore, the notifications should be working. You can also enable or disable the option to show the contact information when you get the alert. You can also enable and disable the alerts, so basically, or delayed alerts. Uh, so <clears throat> if somebody calls you on your phone and you have the delay enabled, the watch will wait for a certain period of time and then it will alert you about the call. And if you enable it, you can tap on set delay and basically set it to something, whatever you like. It's go, it goes from 3 to 30 seconds, I believe. Yeah. So select what you like and tap on OK. OK, let's go back to the notifications and reminders. Next, we can enable the notification for applications on your phone. So tap on app alerts. As you can see here, we have the warning message. Tap on it. Tap on OK. This will redirect you to the uh, this page basically. Find the ZEP application on the list, tap on it, tap on the switch next to allow notification access, tap on allow, and then you can go back to the app. You won't have the warning message anymore. Now you can enable or disable the app notifications by tapping on the switch. You can also enable or disable the option to notify you only when the uh, screen of your phone is turned off. So basically if you enable this option and you're using your phone, the screen is turned on, you only receive notifications on your watch if you receive any notifications on your phone. That's how it works. I'm going to disable this option and now we can enable or disable the notifications for specific apps. As you can see, you have the list of apps and we can scroll through it, find the notifications and we want, for example, enable the or rather find the application we want to enable the notifications for. We can tap on the switch like that to enable it or we can disable it by tapping on the switch right here. So customize it to your liking and once you're done you can close the app and at this point you should be able to receive the notifications on your watch. So I'm gonna send myself a message on Discord. As you can see, we have the notification on our uh, phone. And when you wake up the screen on your watch, you should have it right here too. And we have it. We can tap on the message, I believe. Oh, we can't. That's weird. Let's wake up the screen, open the notification menu, and here we can tap on it. 
we can swipe right to go back and I believe there should be method to clear the notifications but I'm not sure how anyway as you can see the notifications are working and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video Thank you.